Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use a different logo on each page in Squarespace 7.1. This is for anyone using one of the new weirdly named 7.1 starting points. I'm an owner rider. I'm building a website! Another way to check what version you're using is to head over to the help section. And if you're seeing 7.1, you're good to go. If you're seeing version 7 here and a template name, I've got a separate video covering that which I'll link above. So if we head over to the site title and logo, we need to be using a logo image for this to work. So we'll drag in our primary logo. This is the one that will feature throughout most of the website. And once it's uploaded, you can just resize this however you want. And when you're done, hit save. Next, we need to upload the alternative logo and get the URL. So if we go over to the custom CSS and expand manage custom files, then we can just drag in our alternative logo. Once it's uploaded, we'll click on the file which drops the image URL into the CSS editor. Let's highlight and take a copy of this. And we're not going to be using this just yet, so we'll paste it onto a post that note for now. Or because it isn't 1985, we can also paste it into a text editor. Let's minimise this for now, and then we can just cancel out to the CSS editor and head over to the Pages tab. Then we go to the page where we want to have our alternative logo displayed and click on the cog icon next to the page. And there's nothing happening, literally. Let's refresh that. Click on the cog icon next to the page. And under the advanced tab, we'll add some style tags. So left angle bracket, style, right angle bracket. Between these tags, we'll go dot header hyphen title hyphen logo space A, another space, left curly bracket, content colon URL normal brackets. Between these brackets we'll put two quotation marks. Come outside of the brackets and we'll close the line off with a semicolon and then we'll close the whole lot off with a right curly bracket. Next we need to grab the URL slug that we copied earlier and stick it between the quotes. That's not going to work. Or we can just copy it from the text editor and paste it between the quotation marks. Hit save and our alternative logo should be displayed. And if we skip over to another page that should be showing our normal logo. So as always, thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, leave us a thumbs up below. If you're not already, consider subscribing to see more stuff like this. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next one. See ya.